Okay, so welcome back to another um, focus on the various um, home delivery food services. Today I'll be looking at Terrace Kitchen. Um, as usual, I'll be doing an unpacking of um, what you get in the mail. I'll take you through uh, three recipes and get into the cooking process and discuss uh, some of what you might expect. So first off, let's talk about the unpacking of the box. Okay, so we have uh, today the delivery from uh, Terrace Kitchen, so we'll take a look at the uh, unboxing. And this one you can see is a little bit different than our last um, delivery services. You can see this one, their big deal is the reusable box. So they have a um, instruction here, you load your food uh, into a reusable bag, transfer it to the fridge, leave the box where it was delivered. So um, first thing is to look at opening it, which probably um, I guess happens here it's a little hard to get this open okay okay and there's a uh, reminder here it says to not um, leave any fresh food behind unload all containers okay Let's try to get in here. So this one you can see is very, um, it's a heavy box like all of these are, but um, you can see it's its packed really solid. And uh, the other ones of course have some sort of um, material inside them that is a um, insulation. This is a reusable box. So basically you're getting a mini fridge with your um, delivery from Tara's kitchen. So we have like with the, <coughs> excuse me, um, we have like with the other food service delivery systems, um, the recipes and look at here. So we'll be trying this week the um, Parmesan tilapia with Israeli couscous. Um, so Frida's burrito bowl, which is a tofu dish. Um, these are pre-punched so you could put them in a, uh, a binder if you want to uh, hold on to your recipes. They also have numbers at the top, so that's a little different. And then we have a uh, Vietnamese turkey uh, bowl. Um, and you can see here, we'll look at this some more, but uh, it is looking like it's not as many steps as some of the others. We'll have to see how that, that is. But let's continue with um, unboxing the uh, mini fridge here, which is kind of cool if you, if you think about this. So each of these has a, let's see if we can get, I guess you can see it pretty well here. Okay, so each of these has a, um, in just like a fridge, right? It slides out, so you can see the top has the um, ice packs in it. Um, they're definitely already melted, or melting, rather. Um, what do we have here? Let's look. Okay, so this is all of the um, the items, and you know one of the things that is different, two things different about Tara's Kitchen. One is obviously how you get your food, right? So you get it in this um, mini fridge, and one of the concerns I've had so far about the food delivery systems has been the um, the issue of the waste, um, the carbon footprint issue that you have in terms of. Um, having to deal with, with all the waste and returning things and so forth. So that certainly is a concern. Um, the second one is a lot of pre-cutting of things. So you can see here you have Brussels sprouts and these are all marked and it looks like, um, let me just look here to make sure I'm correct on this. So this is the Israeli couscous, so yeah, sure enough. Um, these are numbered here. So this says 223 and then you have 223 on your recipe card. So that's pretty easy. You could then divide these all up by the number of the recipe. That's actually a pretty cool feature. You can take a few more of these out. Um, mushrooms, um, shredded carrots. So again, everything here is um, washed and cut. So that's going to cut down, no pun intended, cut down on our time as far as prep. So you're seeing all the ingredients here. You have to really reach back here so that, like they said, you don't miss any of these. You see all the um, ingredients. Now, I will say this. We're talking about how this is 
more eco-friendly, this mini fridge. What we're gonna do um, when we're done is just put it back on the porch and then there's a return delivery uh, label for FedEx so it gets sent back. But then of course you do have these which are recyclable but this is obviously some level of, of carbon footprint having these miniature containers. Now of course they stack really nicely. They can also be sealed and then you can put the labels on for the uh, the recipe numbers so presumably you know thought has gone into this there's always going to be I guess some carbon footprint um, even if you go to the grocery store you're obviously spending gas and, and wasting if you buy anything in, in packaging that isn't recyclable so um, yeah that's just I guess a concern so just you have to look in the back here so that was the first shelf the second shelf let's see what's on there it looks like we have um, some smaller items here. Uh, what else? Black beans. We have an avocado. Um, just looking, looking at it here. This actually, this avocado reminds me of a um, kind of a joke about. Um, I, I saw something years ago of a market in the UK where they actually had peeled. This is not peeled, uh, but it reminds me of this. They had peeled oranges. And then they were wrapped in, in plastic and people made the point that, you know, it's kind of a waste. So again, if you're concerned about that with any of these um, services, you are getting packaging. This is recyclable as far as the type of, of plastic I'm sure it is. But uh, it also has in here the packed on date for you to, to see. We have more goodies in the back here. Um, jasmine rice, cucumber. So far, I'm not noting any sort of... Um, organization of the items relative to the, the shelf. It looks like the big thing is you just follow along with the numbers and based on the numbers that you have, you match those up with the recipes. Um, when, our, when I'm done, I'll pan the camera to the top so you can see what we've pulled out. Um, the very bottom has one item. So this appears to be a smaller item, maybe toppings. It's got some mayo and looks like maybe some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Uh, again, marked as 223. That's the um, fish dish that has the Parmesan crusted tilapia. Okay, so that's the bottom shelf. I bet this is gonna be our proteins. And it is, okay? So a few things here. We have some Chipotle salsa at the bottom for this is recipe 267. My guess is that's probably the um, Sofritos burritos, the tofu dish. Um, you can see it has the ingredients on here, and this is all pre-made. So we'll have to see how this goes when I do the uh, cooking test. One of the things I found with a lot of the services, say freshly, which is prepared completely for you and you heat it in the micro, um, is that with a lot of the other services, there's a ton of chopping and you make small components of the dishes. So in this case, uh, the salsa is already made for us. And again, it's refrigerated, so it keeps everything fresh. So I think good news there, I would say on prep time, if that's your thing. Uh, we have here, uh, looks like ground turkey for the Vietnamese dish. We have the tofu for the sofritos dish. And I bet there's gonna be a piece of tilapia or two in here. I ordered uh, three meals to try out Terrace Kitchen, and you can see there, uh, the tilapia, like the other services, it tells you the use by date, which is of course important since you don't want anything to go bad and so forth. Um, we will do do one more check just to make sure, but it looks like I, I have everything here. Let me just pull the camera down here and again, I can give you a, a closer look at what you're getting. We'll also check to make sure these are all empty. Appears to be empty. Okay, um, so so far this is the coolest part of Terrace Kitchen is the fact that you get this reusable fridge, right? I mean, you don't have to deal with, I'm already comparing and I'll say this is what came, okay? So other than the recipe cards, um, this stuff right here, now it's three meals, in some other cases I've done, I think as many as five or more meals, but this is three meals, so you can see not a lot of waste. This is the extent of it as far as what we'll have to uh, recycle because everything, the ice packs, um, all the interior components, 
uh, go back on the porch and FedEx uh, picks it all up. So for me, that's kind of a big deal because I've noticed with some of the other services that you really do get stuck with a lot of um, waste that you either have to throw out, which is not very good for the environment, or uh, recycle it. Um, with uh, Freshly, the most recent one I did prior to Terra's, they actually said that their um, interior, um, the, the watery, the liquidy stuff that goes in the, um, sorry, the cooling packs, in this case, of course, these are going back recycling, reused, I guess, but the cooling packs for Freshly, um, they did mention that you can actually uh, th cut them, throw them in the trash, and then it's biodegradable. So it, it, it's a ton of weight. I'll tell you this one nice thing I could tell already with Terra's is this is not going to be nearly as much weight to either recycle or if you do throw it in the trash. So that's a pretty big deal. Um, you can see that that's um, one issue that I, I think is, is present within these food um, delivery services. So I have to now move next to trying out some of the recipes here from Tara's Kitchen to see how this actually all tastes. Uh, it's one thing to get a really cool recyclable, returnable fridge, but um, let's see what the, uh, the menu items taste like. Okay, what I actually did is, uh, since I got three recipes this week, I um, laid out each recipe card and then I again matched the numbers with um, each of the ingredients. And what I'm going to do now is flip this over because they have um, a guide here um, about what they sent. So I'm going to match these ingredients with what I have here to make sure I have all the ingredients. Again, it's come up in a couple of cases where um, one of the food delivery companies didn't turn, didn't include one of the ingredients. So I want to make sure I have all this, obviously before, that I have all the ingredients before I start cooking. So we'll take a look at that. Okay, so let's take a look then at uh, the first uh, Terra's Kitchen recipe. This is the uh, Parmesan tilapia with roasted vegetable couscous. So like all the services, the um, information is um, on the back for you, very easy to read gives you all the information about what you're doing. This one has um, six steps. So we'll be starting with, uh, we preheated the oven to 450 and we lined a couple baking trays, one with foil for the fish, the other for the um, roasted vegetables. Um, we will uh, give this a spray of nonstick cooking spray. Uh, first, we have to cut the Brussels sprouts into quarters. So again, if you recall, everything is a pre-packaged for you, so it's pretty easy. So let's get the Brussels sprouts first. Okay, and actually I will uh, speed through uh, some of this. Um, you know, I'm not doing this in real time. So obviously with these services, you know, there's going to be a lot of variance in, depending on your skill and how fast you're cooking, um, a lot of variance in terms of how long they will take to cook the recipes. Okay, so we have the Brussels sprouts and I thought maybe it would be easier to toss on the roasted veggies. Okay, we'll continue through this recipe here. We'll uh, speed it up a little bit. Again, it's pretty handy to have everything pre-cut ahead of time. Okay, so we have the um, roasted veggies here that we're going to uh, work on and I thought it might be a little bit easier to toss these in here prior to putting them on the tray. Uh, let's see here, if that's gonna work. Maybe I got a, too small of a bowl. These do all stack, so again, you can recycle these to your heart's content. And depending on your eco-friendly consciousness, get a good amount of veggies here. Uh, what do we do next? So we're gonna put in all the rosemary and some salt and pepper. Uh, canola oil, I'll just use olive on here. Uh, toss it is a little small, probably. Okay, some salt and pepper on there. Um, a little more oil. And it's a lot of rosemary, but I guess we'll use it all. It certainly has a lot strong flavor to it. And we are then going to roast in the oven. Uh, looks like until brown and tender for 15 minutes at 450. Um, 
then we're going to broil them again after we remove them from the oven. So let's get them on the... Oh, first we might want to spray the stick, our foil, and we have all our veggies here ready to be baked in the oven. And I do have to say, as I'm getting the uh, couscous for the next step ready, um, having the, the veggies, I have to say, pre-chopped, you know, in these little containers, I think it made a, a pretty big difference in terms of prep with uh, Blue Apron, Apron HelloFresh, uh, Home Chef. There was quite a bit of chopping involved in all of them. Of course, this is more work than Freshly, which is absolutely zero work in terms of uh, prep. So we're going to next get a cup of water and a bit of salt. And actually, if you're like me, um, everyone makes couscous. I like to uh, use a little broth instead of, or in addition, with the water just to give it some more flavor. So not called for, but we will do that. And that will actually knock out our need for salt since there's a little salt in broth, of course. And though the pre-cutting is nice, you know, these recipes still take, I, I think, a decent amount of time that I discovered. Okay, so we are moving on to our um, second step. We're going to add a little oil to, the, uh, to a pan. And we are going to um, toast the couscous for one minute. I'm starting to stick on the bottom of the pan. I may not have put enough oil on there. We'll try to just stir it a little bit and toast it for one minute. We're going to then, after this step, add one cup of water and salt. I think it's a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm actually going to um, add, if you're like me, you add a little bit of uh, broth, in this case some chicken broth, to um, the couscous as it cooks. It gives it a little more flavor. And since we're doing that, we also will not, we will forego the, uh, the salt since broth has salt in it. And meanwhile, the veggies are roasting in the oven. So those are going as we speak. I'm just going to toast this a little bit more. At the Israeli couscous, so it's the um, bigger grained variety, um, hearty, I think. We'll see how it pairs up with the tilapia with the Parmesan crust and the roasted vegetables. Um, Okay, so the couscous is going and the veggies are still in the oven. Uh, next, we're going to work on uh, the fish prep. So we're going to um, pat the fish dry first. And this is what it comes in. And on the outside, they talk about sustainability of the fish. Okay, so we added some uh, cooking spray to the foil. And we'll just put the tilapia down here. Um, also going to season with some salt and pepper, and then we'll mix together the breading for the fish. So let's get these situated. Get a good amount, certainly. It, I, it could be my imagination, but it seems like a little bit more than some of the other um, companies, but uh, it just could be imagination. So I don't know for sure. I didn't look at the um, per ounces of any of uh, the recipes I've been working on. And in case you're wondering, um, the recipe card claims that the time to table from package is about 30 minutes, which I think it, it took a little bit longer than 30 minutes for me to prepare. <clears throat> okay, I'm mixing it together. Um, and I have to say it's pretty, it's pretty much clumping into one um, big piece. And it's interesting on their diagram, they have two fillets. In our case, we have, um, a series of tilapia fillets, so I guess I'll just divvy it up, but I have to say it's going to be a little... Kind of see what I'm getting at here. It's it's not going to go that far 
um, make the best of it. <laughs> but it's just not like it's not really binding well, right? If I've made other um, dishes like this, typically. I don't know, it has, what, breadcrumbs, maybe some egg in there for binding. This is just rather messy, and I think I'm going to run out, actually. But maybe it's supposed to be a light layer. The problem with a light layer is you can kind of see what I'm working with here. I can't really do much just because this is just the most one of the most awkward uh, coatings for a fish I've, I've worked with. So this is not, I don't know, easy. So it looks kind of um, even, I guess. It's just obviously the fish fillets, because we have so many of them, they're not completely covered. So that is kind of an issue. And again, it just doesn't seem that consistent getting on top of the fish. But I guess each fillet will get a little bit of flavor um, as it cooks. So uh, this is our um, pre-cooking stage. So what we're going to do is uh, cook the fish once the veggies are done and the couscous should, should be done soon as well. So let us um, look at it in a bit here once the dish is complete. Okay, and you're going to see the plated dish here. I apologize. You know, when I was making some of these videos, I didn't always uh, perfect uh, taking the photo. I think it it tastes better than than it looks here um so you know it was a good dish i just have to say i have a personal preference i'm not a big cheese plus fish fan and um again it's very subjective with these food uh, services because you know you're not going to love every recipe most of them most of the services have a way of rating and giving feedback and you can also always adjust your preferences if you like uh, beef or dairy lactose issues shellfish fish etc so the second meal was a Vietnamese turkey uh, banh mi bowl, and this one I have to say was was really good. I don't have a um, uh, actually any video of of uh, preparing the recipe. I found that it was about the same. So if you take the last one, the tilapia with the parmesan, it was about the same amount of time in the same process. Again, variation. What's cool about this one is you could see the ingredients. You know, the cucumber required some chopping, but it's always nice when you can. Um, have some of the stuff pre-chopped for you. I think the number system as well that uh, correlates with the recipe cards is a handy way of really organizing stuff. It doesn't all neatly fit in your fridge, but again, the point of this is that it fits in that mini refrigerator because you're trying to reduce a lot of the waste. And I think Terra's definitely um, is the best in terms of reducing uh, some of that waste because of the recycling uh, that is possible. So here's the final product. I have to say that um, really great flavors on this, and Terra's is one of those that you can get into some ethnic cuisines and I really appreciated that because I think sometimes you just get bored if you're me with um, the American diet and so this was really nice that you had a Vietnamese flair very nice flavors um, nice acidity in terms of the sauce uh, the meatball was was very good as well so overall I thought it was a a very good dish no complaints on on that one Okay, and the third recipe I tried with Terra's is a spicy sofritas uh, burrito bowl. And this one uses a tofu. So the other thing you'll note here is that you can do some vegetarian. I think it's always good when the services uh, mix things up, give you some vegetarian options. It gives uh, people an opportunity to try some more plant-based and uh, green type diets. I don't have um, photos of this one. I will say the the, the seasoning was, was really great. It was one of the best... Um, tofu dishes I've had in a long time and I think one of the reasons for that was the the beans they they had were incredibly flavorful as was the uh, salsa that came with the dish so this was I think I thought a successful dish and it was also um, a little less time intensive as compared to the last two meals with Terra's okay now we can look a little bit at the website and what they offer again one of their things is uh, the healthy delivery the pre-chopped ingredients and also the gen uh, next generation delivery service the menu um, selection is similar to all the other services not a lot of difference there again you can choose how many per week I did find the pricing a little bit higher than some of the others um, now one cool thing is you can add salads and smoothies if you want you see the additional prices there 
Um, you can add proteins. So for example, for a vegetarian one, you could add some shrimp or chicken or whatever to that. So the um, customizing of things was really good with Terra's. You can also add snacks and juices. A lot of services have like fruits and smoothies that you can order. And then you can also do sides, which is, is pretty handy. You'll see this with Gobble as well. I think Gobble and Terra's Kitchen have a lot of customization um, options. Uh, this, you know, tells you when you um, first get your delivery, unpack, peel, return. So the delivery of the box was pretty easy, I have to say. I put it out and the next day FedEx picked it up. This is the um, ordering system again. If you see an X there, it means you skip that week. It's, it's pretty easy to skip and unskip. You can change your subscription settings. You can um, choose you know the, the delivery day, the number of meals you want per week. You might want to do weight loss. You might want to do vegetarian. So a lot of ability to customize your menu um, overall and then within the menu itself. This shows you um, what the menu looks like. Again, I think it's pretty cool that there's a lot of ethnic opportunities and healthy and fresh opportunities. I will say Terra's has a very fresh taste to it and also has an opportunity for the ethnic um, options, which I don't think you get with a lot of the other services. The other cool thing is their focus on balance and health and change in terms of environmentalism. There's a good emphasis there. They also have a um, registered uh, dietitian, a PhD, who uh, is, seems to be focused on this Mediterranean lifestyle diet. And then they also talk about um, a nutrient score, a nutrition score that they give themselves. So, you know, overall, there's there's a lot of great health focus and environmentally pro focused stuff with Terra's Kitchen. I think maybe that makes up for a little bit higher price. Again, I think the re refrigeration delivery system is pretty unique. It's easy to use. And having some of the stuff pre chopped also makes it. Um, a little bit easier than some of the other services. It still will take you, I think, a little more time, in my opinion, than either Gobble or certainly Freshly. So um, I hope you get to check out some of my additional video features that focus on the pros and the cons of some of these food delivery systems uh, in the future.